Hi friends, I'm back again to talk about um, the envelope clutch from Saddleback Leather. And uh, I want to start the video where I'm standing showing you in crossbody. Um, this strap does not come with it. This is a strap from my uh, large hobo in tobacco. But um, sometimes people who own Saddleback Leather bags actually own several and so you can use a strap for this um, envelope clutch. I'll show you the strap it does come with. And so I'm 5'5". Five five. Um, I like wearing it crossbody like this. And um, yeah, I've taken a couple pictures on Instagram and shown you guys what it looks like. And uh, let's get, in, get into the bag as I'm seated. Hope you're having a good day. I am. This dimensions for the envelope clutch are 9, excuse me, 12 by 9. And this is from Saddleback Leather. It retails for $88. Uh, this is the color tobacco. And actually, this is the darker tobacco color. Um, do these have a... I'm not sure if this is coming in as a difference, but I have my long trifold inside, and um, I'll hold that up to show you the kind of color family that the tobacco... This I purchased maybe a month ago. I had a uh, gift certificate from a friend, and... I thought, why not? Um, see if it works for my collection. And I want to show you for sure. I'll take these straps off for now. But I really wanted to make sure that I showed you the wristlet it comes with. I'm calling this a wristlet. It's very much just a small strap that um, comes off really easily. Can you tell what kind of closure that is? It's very simple. This closure is. Um, just like the closure for the hobo strap. I'm going to get confused with that strap, so I had to throw it over there. Okay, so you can wear it um, here and here, or you can wear it on the same one. You know, some women do this to show uh, to have like a wristlet. Um, it's kind of heavy for a wristlet, but nonetheless, you can do it that way, or you can just take it off and. See again. I can take it off and just carry it like this, which is actually really comfortable too. And um, the back here, I have a medium moleskin right in to show you, you know, how much thickness you can actually get in this pocket. It's pretty good. Um, and then this opening is very easy. People always ask, can you do it one-handed? Or do you need two hands? And I do need two hands the majority of the time. Um, I want to talk about that buckle closure. Sometimes people think that's a deal breaker. I know I used to buy a lot of bags throughout my whole teenage life and my 20s. I'm only 29. And um, the buckles, the closures, and the straps are the first things to break in any bag. And you'd spend maybe $40 on a bag, and you're like, that's kind of expensive, it's kind of reasonable, let's see how long it lasts. And it lasts one season. So to me, using two hands to open a buckle is okay with me, as long as the bag is going to last season after season. Obviously a 100-year warranty on this as well. But, um, but I know deal breakers, it's a deal breaker for some people to have to use two hands to open the closure, but... I'm going to pick my battles, and I am totally fine with using two hands on this one. Okay, so we're going to hop on in. The actual, like, the amount of leather they use is so minimal. There is an outside pocket. This is one piece. And then this thing is one piece, and it keeps on going up to here and has its own folds. I think that's so awesome. And there's the logo of blue. All right, and right now I'm carrying um, an iPad mini in the dark chocolate dark coffee dark coffee round iPad mini case from Saddleback Leather I had too much coffee and uh, this is the long trifold wallet from Saddleback Leather and here's where I can show you the color differences maybe I'll do it like this so this wallet was purchased about a year ago and this was purchased almost a month ago I think I'm still it's relatively new to me, and maybe the color's coming through. This is a little bit more in the yellow family, this is a little bit more in the red family of tobacco, and this is where they're heading their tobacco line, and I love it. Um, so the wallet fit in just fine vertically, and then I have several pieces of paper. This is 8.5 by 11, 
which is very standard printer paper. And um, I wanted to show you that several sheets fit. I mean, you can get lots more in there if you really wanted, because some people want to use this as a document holder in their briefcases. Um, I think this is a men's and women's bag. I think how you use it can make it more or less feminine. If it's a wristlet, that's kind of feminine. I don't know. You decide. I'm not going to tell you. If you like this bag, it works for you. I'm not going to stop you. So I did want to show, I did want to show you that this is a average size manila folder. Is that what they're called? So this is a little over 11 and a half by nine and a half, but really nine, um, it's nine and a half from here to here. And this isn't fitting that well. Uh, you would feel like it would, because if you hold it up, can you see this? You would think that it would fit just fine, but because of the stitching, because of the leather, because of the pig skin, it, it, it's kind of, it's not as easy to get in. I don't know, I wouldn't want you to hurt documents. So an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper works, but a standard size folder does not. Um, I know I'm kind of not as organized as I normally am in my videos right now, but this folder, um, I wanna see if I can measure it really quick. Uh, a little under 11 and a half by nine. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it's kind of like, it kind of works, it kind of doesn't. I mean, you really want to have to do that every time. So if you're going to do documents in here, I would just do the loose documents. I wouldn't put them in a folder within a folder. Um, oh, I didn't mention this is the pigskin lining. This is their um, standard pigskin lining. The other day I did a review on the book bag. It's on my channel if you want to look at it. But the book bag has a suede pigskin lining. And even though I bought this a month ago, this one still had um, the normal pigskin lining, which you can kind of scratch up. But it's pretty great. Mm, yeah, it's pigskin lined here and in here. Uh, let's look at my notes so I don't get off track. Though I already am off track. Hmm... Oh, let's talk about magazines. So another reason I bought this bag was because I read several magazines. I still like paper format. I get them in my iPad as well, the magazine subscriptions, but I still order the paper. I don't know. Something about dog earing a page and referencing it when you have no battery life. It's great. So uh, I subscribe to Watercolor Magazine, and um, this is my husband's car and driver. And these are in the dimensions of, I wrote it down, Seven and a half by ten and a half, and these fit great. So let me show you that. Yeah, super easy going in, and you still have lots of room. I mean, I could throw a pouch in there. Can I put my iPad Mini in there? And close it, yeah, just fine, which is pretty cool. Um, but some magazines, I don't know, all the all the editions that are in this size, but I also subscribe to Plain Air Magazine. I'm an artist, interior designer, YouTube blogger. <laughs> this one doesn't uh, fit, and the dimensions of this bag are 9 by 11. So I can show you how that doesn't really work. All right. Again, it's kind of pinching, kind of... You see this? Yeah, I wouldn't. The reason I would put magazines in these pouches is so that my magazines don't get ruined and I feel like I'm kind of already ruining this magazine. Um, I swear I had more to talk about. Oh, another reason I bought this bag is because, or this pouch or clutch, because I own a lot of bags that are big and when I'm leaving the house to go to a coffee shop or um, a meeting and I have lots to carry, I'm gonna carry a bigger bag. But then I wanna run an errand at the grocery store on the way home. I don't wanna bring my backpack into the store. So if I were to walk around with the simple 
medium simple in tobacco from Saddleback Leather. Um, I would just have this in the back here all day. It kind of gives the bag a little more structure. Um, as a, and those totes that they're selling as well, this would be good for the totes because you can actually just bring your tote everywhere, go in the grocery store, and you can grab this. Throw a strap on or have the strap. Um, let's see. Okay, so like if you were to have it in here all day, oh, I have to get milk and eggs before I go home. Pull it out of your bag, leave this in your car, walk around the store like this. Maybe this idea is geared towards women more. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just, and then you don't have to carry this huge bag in there. And I did want to say um, the clips back here, the measurements here, don't really line up with the D rings right here on the medium simple. And so I tried to clasp these like this, and they weren't really lining up. Hopefully it's coming in on camera. Uh, I guess there is an idea where you could like link this D ring and this D ring to here and here. But if you're already going to do that, you might as well just pop it in the back. Um, yeah. Okay. I think we might be done, guys. This is a shorter review. And this is where I review my notes so I don't have to redo the whole thing to add one thought. Okay, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I've done tons of reviews for uh, Saddleback Leather and um, Love 41, but I just love these products. I try them so you don't have to, and I help maybe help you make decisions on whether these bags work for your life or not. So um, hopefully you have a good day. The Envelope Clutch, Saddleback Leather, and uh, the next review I'm going to be doing in a couple days is the long trifold wallet. This is an older model, but not a lot of reviews are out there, so I'll provide that for you guys here in a couple days. See you later.